a 12 inch 78 RPM Shellac Columbia record The Death of Nelson, a descriptive ballad uh, recorded in the uh, Central Hall, Westminster uh, Words uh, Arnold, music uh, is it Braham? I can't quite see arrangement baton it's a, yeah, it's 78 RPM and sung by uh, Francis Russell Tenor uh, Stuart Hibbard narrator uh, with full chorus and orchestra uh, Lord Nelson is uh, played by Lewis Casson and uh, Captain Hardy by Robert Carr Britannia mourns her hero now at rest. But those bright laurels ne'er shall fade with years, whose leaves are watered by a nation's tears. after victory be the predominant virtue in the British fleet. For myself, I commit my life to him who made me, and may his blessing light upon my endeavor for serving my country faithfully, to whom I resign myself and the just cause which is entrusted to me. Amen.
The Death of Nelson, Descriptive Ballad, Part 2. of Hardy. My dearest beloved Emma and the dear friend of my bosom, the signal has been made that the enemy's combined fleet are coming out of port. We have very little wind so that I have hopes of seeing them before tomorrow. May the god of battles crown my endeavors with success. At all events, I shall take care that my name shall ever be most dear to you and Horatia, both of whom I love as much as my own life. And as my last writing before the battle will be to you, so I hope in God that I shall live to finish my letter after the battle. May heaven help you, <laughs> your Nelson and Bronte. Lady Hamilton, I have a sad duty to perform. Stay on, Mr. Hardy. Lord Nelson died in my arms. His last words were of you. He charged me to see that you were well provided for, and to say that he died with your name upon his lips. My beloved Nelson, whom I had hoped to cherish and love in his declining years. With Horatio dead, what have I left to me? Oh, miserable, wretched Emma. Oh, glorious and happy Nelson. Whilst in London, the bells rang a pæan of joy for the overthrow of an enemy who had so long threatened invasion. 